Thousands of people in Hillsborough County are trying to get help putting food on the table as a result of Hurricane Ian. They're applying for disaster snap benefits at Raymond James Stadium in News Channel 8's Annie Mapp. She's there. She's been watching that line grow. I can see it behind you, Annie, there. Just a, a much bigger turnout, I think, than anyone expected. Stacy, there's a lot of people here. It appears that many are taking advantage of this as they're getting off of work. DSNAP provides food assistance for people who are not currently getting food stamps here in Hillsborough County. Now, these gates opened at 7 this morning, and as you can see, these lines are long. I'm told thousands of people are expected to take advantage of this help. I tell you the truth, it's very difficult. Hillsborough County residents impacted by Hurricane Ian lined up at Raymond James Stadium in hopes of getting help putting food on the table. I could go shopping now, do my grocery, and have some food at home for Thanksgiving. The Department of Children and Families opened up the three-day site where they are conducting in-person interviews and handing out EBT cards for people who qualify. We take into account the, the income you made during the disaster period, how much cash you had on hand, and we subtract out the disaster-related expenses that you had during it, depending upon your family size. That calculation determines whether a person is eligible. A photo ID is the only proof required. One resident shares how the hurricane impacted him. I got called off work for two or three days. And I couldn't work, and that was two or three hundred dollars I could have used for rent and bills just down the drain. And on Saturday, phone interviews will also be an option. Today, the gates close at 5, so you have an hour to get here. And I'll tell you, outside those gates, the line of cars is wrapped around the stadium. Reporting live in Tampa, Annie Mapp, 8 on your side.